18 English phrasal verbs with take from EspressoEnglish.net. To take after someone means to have a similar appearance or personality, especially a relative. For example, she takes after her mother. They have the same green eyes and curly brown hair. John is such a funny person. He takes after his grandfather, who is a comedian. To take something apart means to separate it into parts. For example, the technician is taking apart the TV so that he can fix it. Take something back has two meanings. One is to return something to a store. For example, the jeans I bought were too small, so I took them back and exchanged them for a larger size. Take something back also means to admit that something you said was wrong. For example, I'm sorry I said you were stupid. I take it back. Take something down also has a couple of definitions. It means to separate a structure into parts. For example, after the circus was over, the workers took down the big tents. Take something down can also mean to write information on paper. For example, he took down my address and phone number and said he'd call me later. To take someone in means to let somebody stay in your house. For example, my friend lost his job and his apartment, so I took him in for a month. To take something in means to receive and understand information. For example, the instructor spoke so fast that I couldn't take in all the information. Take in also means to make clothing smaller so that it fits you. For example, I love this dress, but it's a little too loose. Could you take it in an inch? Take off has multiple meanings. One is an airplane leaving the ground and going up into the air. For example, what time does the plane take off? Take off also means to become successful or popular very fast. For example, in the last few years, social media sites have taken off all over the world. Informally, take off means to leave a place suddenly. For example, he was at the party for about 15 minutes, and then he took off. To take something off means to remove a piece of clothing from your body. For example, I always take off my shoes as soon as I get home. To take time off means to not go to work for a period of time. For example, Jamie took three days off to go skiing in the mountains. Take something on means to accept some work or responsibility. For example, do you have time to take on a new project? Take someone on means to hire or employ somebody. For example, the company has taken on three new staff members. And it can also mean to fight or compete against somebody. For example, in tonight's boxing match, Antonio will take on an undefeated boxer from Argentina. Take somebody out means to go with somebody to a restaurant or movie and pay for their food or ticket. For example, I'm taking my girlfriend out to dinner on our anniversary. Take something out means to remove something from a place. For example, I took the letter out of the envelope. We also have the expression, take something out on someone, meaning to treat an innocent person badly because you are tired or angry about something else. For example, hey, I know you had a terrible day at work, but don't take it out on me. Take over something means to take control. For example, Germany took over several other countries during World War II. To take someone through something means to explain something to somebody in detail. For example, let me take you through the procedure for operating this machine. First, you need to... Take up has a couple of meanings. It can mean to fill space or time. For example, these books are taking up all the space in my room. Last month, an urgent project took up all my spare time. 
To take up an activity means to start doing that activity regularly. For example, I've recently taken up yoga. We also have the expression take someone up on something, meaning to accept an offer or invitation. For example, when you travel to China, you're welcome to stay at my house. Really? I might take you up on that. And to take something up with someone means to complain to someone about a problem. For example, if you don't like the way I do my job, take it up with my manager. If you want to learn more phrasal verbs like these, check out my course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. It will help you learn and practice 500 common phrasal verbs in the context of conversations. Click on the link in the video for more information and a free sample lesson.